Here's my boy. Those are just sitting in the back of the truck. Now, as you can tell, he's pretty alert. Those are usually alert, really quite attentive. Um, he's quite concerned about his environment and what's going on. He's part Dalmatian, so Dalmatians are pretty, um, pretty alert dogs, pretty, pretty aware. And right now, Dozer is aware that we have stopped the truck. Now, stopping the truck used to mean something different to Dozer. Stopping the truck used to mean that, boom, he's going to run. But now he's beginning to realize that stopping the truck means we're getting close to something. But it doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to run. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get out of here and just tear up around the property. Um, he wants to go see uh, Will and Jim. He wants to, you know, do his thing. He's a dog. That's what he does. Um, but now he's beginning to realize that the next step is when I open the door. Now I was thinking about Dozer and how Dozer is learning to see my patterns and learning to learning to have a little more patience. You notice he's not jumping around and um, which he has a tendency to do by times. And I was thinking about that and thinking how much Dozer is better at trusting me than I am trusting God. See, Dozer knows that at some point he's going to get out. Um, and he wants to go, but he's waiting for me. And I want to go and I want to do things and I want things to happen. And I have a real hard time just sitting at the back of the truck and waiting for God. So many things I want God to do. Um, so many things that I want to make happen. I was with um, a mentor last night and we were talking and he <laughs> he was talking about God's plans and, you know, the way God's moving and um, God's going to light some things up. And he said, but, you know, you got to put your lighter in your pocket. I mean, let God do it. You know, God's timing, God's purpose, God's plan and how God can work in me and how God can work in other people. And we have to be patient and allow God to do his work. Doesn't mean we don't take appropriate steps that we have to but at the end of the day we are sometimes left there's nothing else we can do and all we can do is wait now it's funny because we say there's nothing else we can do but yet we think there are <laughs> we have a look but what if i did this what if i did that what if i did the other thing and god's saying let me do my work let me do my thing just sit in the back of the truck and wait those are doing that i mean he's now he's lying down. He's got his head down. He's like, you know, I'll wait. When I open the door, he's going to run. And God says, when I open the door, you can run too. But you're not going to run until I open it. So those are a real, <laughs> a real picture of being a good Christian today. Just sitting and waiting for God to open the doors. It's not easy. It's not easy when we have all these ideas of what God could do or maybe what God should do. And God should open the door now because if I were God, this is what I'd do. But God says, nope, trust me. Door's not open yet. Just lie there and, lie there and wait. Sometimes we just got to sit in the back of the truck and wait for God to open the door. Just like those are. <laughs> I hope that's an encouragement to you. God bless you.